Um, Semi-annually on the Green River, we look at um, the fish in the in the river itself, looks at lengths and weights, and we're also in, in putting pit tags in these fish so that we can track their growth over several years. Um, this has been happening for approximately 25 years now, so we've got real good data on the river, and um, we'll continue to collect this information into the future to get an idea of what the fishery is looking like health-wise. Um, the, the boat actually sets up a field of electricity between the electrodes that stick out in front of the boat and the boat itself. So out in front of the boat you have a field of electricity that actually stuns the fish, um, um, makes it so it basically paralyzes them. It'd do the same thing to you if you dropped in the water. It's just a lot of electricity going through. It doesn't actually harm the fish, they can recover from it, uh, but it stuns them so that we have the opportunity to, to net them and uh, select the fish that we want. In an evening, we'll typically work between 600 and 800 fish. Um, that depends on um, the, the stretch of river that we're looking at uh, below the dam. There's a few more fish than there are down at Little Hole, so we end up usually working 100 to 150 more fish below the dam than we do at Little Hole. We'll capture fish all the way from four inches up to um, you know 10 pound fish. The larger fish are pretty rare just because they can typically feel the electric field coming at them so they can get away a little faster than the smaller fish. But the small fish is really what we're trying to look at. Uh, the growth is a lot, we can determine the growth on the fish and they also have the, the toughest time surviving in the river. So if we get good survival of our young fish that means we're, we're doing well in the, in the, for the resource. Uh, typically what we'll catch in an evening is going to be brown trout, rainbow trout. Um, we did get a cutthroat, although we haven't stopped, stocked cutthroat for quite a while now, so we don't see very many of them. And also mountain whitefish and um, sculpin, and scul sculpin also. So those are the main fish that we'll see in an evening. Yeah. Um, what we've seen over about the last 10 years is actually a, a flip-flop from a dominated rainbow fishery to a dom more of a brown fishery. Right now we're looking at about 60% browns and 40% rainbows below the dam and as you get closer down to Little Hole we're actually the percentage goes up to 80-20 um, in favor of brown. So it's really it's changed over the last oh, 10 years or so and we're not sure uh, what the cause of that is but uh, um, we're looking at trying to figure out uh, possible ideas on that.